Good morning, students. Today we are going to discuss an important topic in chemistry: Pauling's method of calculation of ionic radii step by step. Okay. First of all, we are going to see what is meant by ionic radius. The definition. Okay. The distance from the center of the nucleus of ion. Up to which it exerts its influence on the electronic cloud of ion. Okay. Now let us consider an atom to understand the concept of ionic radius. Okay. This is the atom. In the center there is a nucleus. The electrons are revolving around the nucleus in the various orbits like K, L, M. Okay. So here. K L M M is the outermost cell, and in the center there is a nucleus. Okay, then according to the definition, it is a distance between the center of the nucleus here. Okay, center of the nucleus here, to which it exerts a its influence. It means nucleus contains the proton. As a result of it, it has a positive charge. The electrons are negative charge. Therefore, the nucleus is always attracting the electrons towards itself. Therefore, as a result of it, it exhibits a kind of attractive force on the electrons. Therefore, up to the last or valence cell, it exhibits the positive attractive force. Okay. Then, due to that, there is a influence of the nucleus on the outermost cell. So the distance between the center and the electrons are present in the outermost orbital. The distance between the these two it means the nucleus and the electrons are present in the outermost cell. That is called ionic radius. It's well known that ions are formed by the either gain of electrons or loss of electrons. If an atom gains one or more electrons, it forms the negative ions. If an atom loses one or more electron, it forms a positive ions. Okay. Then now we are going to see the assumptions. Assumption number one: the ions present in the crystal are perfect sphere. It's well known that the electrons are revolving around the nucleus. If anything revolves around the nucleus, then it makes the size of the sphere. Okay. And they are In contact with each other, it means the positive ions and the negative ions in the crystal are touching each other. Assumption number two: there is a letter is missing. That is a in. Okay. In ionic crystal, the cations and the anions. Okay, and the anions, the anions. Are isoelectronic with noble gases. It means if an ion has a positive or negative charge, its electronic configuration is isoelectronic with the electronic configuration of the noble gases. That is the same point. Now let us consider the crystal of sodium fluoride. Okay, sodium fluoride. Its formula is NaF. It forms a Na plus and F minus. It means forms a sodium cation and fluoride ion. Now let us first of all let us consider the sodium ion. Its atomic number is equal to eleven. Its electronic configuration is one s two, two s two, two p six, three s one. Now let us consider fluorine. Its atomic number is equal to nine. Its electronic configuration is one s two, two s two, two p five. Now sodium undergo oxidation and the fluorine undergo reduction. Therefore. Sodium loses one electron and fluorine gains one electron. As a result of it, sodium forms a sodium plus ion and fluorine forms a fluoride ion. Therefore, one s two, two s two, two p six, three s zero. This electron comes here. One s two, two s two, two p five plus one. This one electron comes from the sodium atom. Therefore, Na plus and F minus sodium ion and fluoride ion. Okay. Now let us consider this electronic configuration of 
Na plus and F minus are isoelectronic with neon electronic configuration. Because for the neon, the atom number is equal to 10, 1s2, 2s2, 2p6. Therefore, both sodium plus and F minus ions are isoelectronic with neon noble gas configuration. Question number 3. In ionic crystal, the internuclear distance between cation and anion is equal to the sum of their radii. So based on this, Rc plus plus Ra minus gives D of C plus and A minus. Where Rc plus is a radius of cation and Ra minus is a radius of anion. And D of C plus and A minus is a internuclear distance between the cation and anion. It means now we are going to see a, a small diagram. Okay. So this is a cation sodium plus. A. And this is anion F minus. This is a radius. This is a radius. Then this is a distance between the nucleus of the sodium and protodion. So that is called internuclear distance. So it's called D of C plus and A minus. Now it's from the Relation R C plus plus R minus. It means uh, sum of radius of cation and uh, sum of radius of anion is equal to the internuclear distance between the, the cation and the anion. So R C plus plus R A minus is equal to the D of C plus and A minus. Then fourth one. For a given noble gas configuration. Anything that is a noble gas configuration. The radius of an ion is inversely proportional to the its effective nuclear charge. Therefore, R C plus is inversely proportional to the Z star of C plus, where Z star is the effective nuclear charge of cation. And similarly, R A minus is inversely proportional to the Z star of A minus, where Z star A minus is the effective nuclear charge of anion. So this is considered as a, this is a equation number 1, this is a equation number 2. Now we are going to divide equation number 1 divided by equation number 2. If you divide the equations, the left hand side should be divided by the left hand side, the right hand side should be divided by the right hand side. In the left hand side equation number 1 Rc plus, Rc plus. Then in the equation number 2 Ra minus. Therefore Rc plus divided by the R minus. There is a directly proportional, there is a directly proportional, therefore directly proportional divided by the directly proportional. In the right hand side, 1 by Z star C plus divided by 1 by Z star A minus. Then on cross multiplication, R C plus divided by the R A minus is equal to the Z star A minus divided by the Z star C plus. Okay, this is a very very important equation. That is derived from the Pauling method. So by using this equation, we can find out the radius of cation and anion in the any ionic crystal by using the effective nuclear charge of cation and anion. Therefore, R C plus divided by R A minus is equal to Z star A minus Z star C plus. It means the ratio between the radius of cation and the radius of anion is equal to the ratio between the effective nuclear charge of anion and the effective nuclear charge of cation. Okay students, watch the video, use the video and share with your friends. Subscribe to the channel. Thank you.